Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Planning B6. Today we are here with a new and important topic which is how we can allow or open the overtime factor in Primavera P6 and uh, how we can calculate the overtime cost and how we can see the overall overtime cost and the combined actual total cost and actual regular cost which is for the assigned for the activity without overtime and also how we can set the overtime factor in Primavera P6 so let's move forward to our topic open your Primavera P6 I have already opened my Primavera P6 open it and First of all, you have to go to the resources. Open your project and go to the resources. In the resources tab, you can go to the details. In the details, you can see here there is an option of your resource type, your unit of measure, and your calendars. And here the currency and overtime currency which have you have selected you will select it before then allow the overtime allowed or not allowed allow the overtime and here set the factor of your overtime like some companies are allowing to the 1.5 it means 50% extra per hour and some companies are allowing 2% 2 which is 100% it means if you are getting $100 per hour then if 1.5 you can get for the hour time hours $150 and if you are getting $200 then you can get on the factor of 2 to you can get $400 per hour so we will allow as per the professionally too many companies are allowing 1.5 hours over time so go back to your activities and go to the resources resources select the activity which you have already add the resources here and now we will customize the columns of the this activity first of all we will customize here the bottom layout and then we will move forward to the topic customize here and find here actual units we also need the actual cost just move it and then we also need actual overtime cost move it actual regular cost we need it then budgeted cost already there budgeted cost not there move it and then find again in the units actual overtime units move it and then actual units move it and if you want you can move the remaining units as well and here you can also see the overtime factor and overtime allowed or not for that activity and over time factor now come here and customize these columns so we will move this actual cost at the end with the regular cost after the regular cost apply and ok Now we will go again to the resources 
and check the factory is allowed overtime is allowed for this resource labor we will select the labor resource and overtime allowed just fix, fix this again you can as allowed the overtime as per your resources if you have allowed the carpenter then you can allow it go back to your, your activities and now you can see here the overtime allowed and factor overtime factor is 1.5 just schedule your project schedule it okay and here we will go and now update our activity status as started because we have already started you cannot update without starting we must have to start our activity and go to the again resources now you can see here the remaining units are 80 actual units if the actual units are 20 and then actual overtime units are say 10 now the overtime cost is 0 we will go to the tools and recalculate the assignment cost schedule it ok now you can see here the overtime cost is appeared here and actual regular cost is here actual cost is here overtime factor is 1.5 and allowed for this resource this is how we can calculate the overtimes for our project and now we will move forward to the activities table how we can see here the overtime total and which activity is how much overtime specifically then we will go to the enterprise and user defined fields in activities we will add two new columns first of all add here you can say that actual overtime cost and data type is you can say the cost and add one more actual regular cost this regular cost is that cost which is already for the activity specifically for the without the overtime close this one and now go to the columns here and in the columns go to the user defined move these columns to the here and if you want to see the budgeted and actual total cost then we will find here the just say budgeted cost just expand it budgeted total cost and actual total cost we will find again actual total cost this one move it close this one and move this budgeted total cost just here for the good presentation actual total cost move here the actual overtime cost move here and actual regular cost here apply and ok now you can see here our cost are not showing here but the actual total cost is showing and budget total cost is also showing now we will show how we can add this one there is no method until now how we can 
uh, change these columns that they can pick the data by the programs but we can calculate the total cost by easily easy method and which is how now go to the activity and click that activity you can put it as a manual see here the actual regular cost is 400 and put here the regular cost 400 and overtime cost is 300 now you can see here the total is calculated here also as the WBS level at the project summary level you can see the total will be calculated automatically and this one is 400 and 300 whenever you will apply the factor of overtime overtime you can check individual activity and put the overtimes and these costs in that columns and see the summarized total on the above and you can also differ the how much is actual cost how much is budgeted cost and how much is consumed up to now i hope you will understand this topic please like share subscribe and comment on our channel thanks for watching allah hafiz